What's up, it's Mars, a.k.a. the Baby Body Chef, your ghetto gourmet for the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm teaching you how to make my Mexican prenatal pot rose chili verde. You know what I'm saying? Get your crock pots out. Get your wallet out. It's going to break your pockets for about 15 bucks. It's going to be a quick one, though. Check it out. This is all the shit you're going to need for this. One large pot roast. It'll cost you about 10 bucks. Two jars of green salsa. One clove of garlic. Two tomatoes, half of a small onion, some cooking oil, garlic salt, and pepper, and then you're ready to fucking go. Get your EBT cards out, bitch, because we're getting ready to cook. Now the first thing you're going to do is grab this big fucking piece of meat and rub it down with some garlic salt and a little bit of pepper all the way around both sides. You know how you do it, bitch. Kind of like a hand job. Then go ahead and slap that big fat fucking piece of meat into a pan, sear it on both sides for about three minutes, lock in all them juices and flavors. You know, like a condom when I fuck your sister. Eight hours later, I don't want nothing to do with the bitch. Speaking of eight hours, that's how long this shit's gonna take all fucking day. So grab your crock pot, put it on low for eight hours, and then wake the fuck back. Well, at least until the meat's done. Then you throw that shit in there. Crack open them jars of salsa and pour them right over the fucking meat. You're probably gonna need about two jars. This shit right here, nigga? This some shit I got at Sprouts. Normally motherfuckers who shop there are worried about gluten and all kinds of faggy shit. But not me. I just get whatever. Get your can opener. Try to open this fucking thing right here. Fuck! All right, once you figure out how to use the can opener, grab them green chilies and start slicing them into bigger chunks. And when you're done, go ahead and throw them in the pot. Grab that onion, cut it in half, and you're probably gonna use almost the whole half, not the whole shit. If you use too much, your breath is gonna smell like shit. Chop up some of that garlic and then throw that shit in there too. Now do the same with the tomatoes. I use about two or three of them. I actually picked these ones myself. I'm not saying that because I'm Mexican, you racist bitch. My dad actually grows these in his backyard. Add them to the pot. Now your shit kind of looks like this, right? Good, because if it doesn't, you're a fucking idiot. Grab a slotted spoon or spatula or some shit and move all the vegetables down into the juice so everything cooks real nice. After that, put the top on and don't fucking touch it. Don't open the fucking lid to stir it, smell it, taste it, none of that shit. Because if you're looking, it ain't cooking. By now, you're probably starving than a motherfucker. Get like a big metal spoon or something like that and kind of stir the meat around and break it up a little bit. And you're ready to go. Now me personally, I hooked up some guacamole and some motherfucking beans and some other shit, some tortillas, you know what I'm saying? And now I got myself a dope ass plate to eat. And I made it all myself like a fucking grown up. Yeah, when it's all said and done, it'll run you about 15 bucks, like I said before. But the cool part is, that if you broke, if you're on welfare, if you ghetto, or just lazy, this shit'll last you about a fucking week, and you can feed your whole family with the shit. You know what I'm saying? You can throw it on top of some chips, grate some cheese on top of that shit, and melt it. You know what I mean? That shit's off the hook. Throw it in a burrito with some guacamole, boom, you're done. You know what I'm saying? You can slip a rupee in that shit, and then fuck your girlfriend right in the pussy!